There we go. Dash, dash. So, can we make our way to the television? This will probably be... Oh, here we go. This will probably be the final session for tonight. I gotta make me some food. Twisted passage. That's the object of power. I need to cleanse it. No. Oh. That was quick to find. Whoa. Whoa. What the fuck? <laughs> Trippy! Cleanse the Benikoff TV. Okay, there we go. Thank you. Whoa. Great. <laughs> so I gotta say I that Oh, hello. Like I mentioned when I started this playthrough that I did play Max Payne and I did play Oh, this is just outside again. Weird. And I did play Alan Wake and didn't play Quantum Break though, since when it was released, it was only for Xbox One. I don't have one, uh, an Xbox One. But Remedy has really done some great work with this game, and this is probably, or to me, even though like Max Payne or it, it did some amazing things for its time, and Alan Wake was kind of scary sometimes as well but control is probably the best game they made according to myself what the fuck is that what the fuck is that that's just guess we gotta go down there first let's start the party I'm gonna kill all of these first, because sooner or later they will drop down, I bet. Salvador! Let's dash over there and capture this guy. Hello, dude. I want your help. Oh crap, that was my dude. Yeah, no, I think my... quite powerful okay the TV another object of power going nuts here we go again ooh anchor supplement mm, what's this then 
The crew of the White Ocelot first encountered a strange spherical phenomenon while fishing in the blank. Witnesses described it as a black sphere with faint light behind it. It hovered just off the bow of the ship. The crew blank by throwing a tin bucket which disappeared into the sphere. Soon after, the vessel lost structural integrity. The ship's me metal rusted and... Okay, the ship's metal rusted and fell apart within minutes. As the ship sank, the sphere lowered into the water. A passing fishing vessel called the Blank rescued all, rescued the four surviving crew. Agents were dispatched to the White Ocelot's last known coordinates, Blank, and began diving operations. On the ocean floor, the agents found the sphere. The ship was entirely destroyed except for its anchor. As agents lifted the anchor off the ocean floor, they noticed the sphere behaved in conjunction with the anchor, moving and stopping as one. Contact with the sphere was avoided, but hand handling the anchor proved harmless. The item was transported by the Blank to the US port of Blank. Upon arriving in New York, it was brought into the Bureau via the Blank. Oh, was this like Salvador's ID? Yeah. It should never have been accessible to low clearance staff in the first place. Lynn Salvador. Trip, trip, trippy. See, kids, television is bad for you. Oh yes, we got it, baby. We got it. That is so awesome. Whoa, weird. Weird. Okay, can we levitate and dash from a levitate and still levitate? This is amazing! I love it! So I guess the idea here is to not do that. But I... let's see. I wanted to... can you jump dash? No? Okay. No, you cannot. I thought you could, like... is it a... Okay, you can do like that, so you... Ooh. Wrong button. I wanted to run. Oh well. So you can... And you can slow fall. Okay, so what I want to do is jump, dash, keep holding jump. And hover across. How long? And then she slow falls. Play with me. Play with me. Oh, come on, shoot at each other instead. This is so freaky. Oh, I lost quite a bit of health there. Oh well. I did it. Okay, dealt with the TV. Now I can find Dylan. Give me back my health. Thank you very much. 
Okay, so now we use levitate to actually get the hell out of here. Cool. Wait, can you levitate? This game is so fucking good. Remedy. Like, wow. Woo! Hello, hello, hello. Be my friend, will ya? You wanna be my buddy? Yeah, let's be friends. Thank you. Okay, I just press again and... A slow fall. Hmm. This opens up so much more exploration. Also, yes, go not having to look for stairs and just fly up to the second floor. Fucking snipers. So guess they want me to whoop and whoop so cool the controls are a little bit janky when levitating but it's really really cool <laughs> so I'm okay with it oh this one we read about it I think that is yes that looks like the dangerous part. Just gonna make sure there's nothing else. Like, I wonder if we can go over there. Maybe it just leads all the way over there. Maximum security. Let's check this. Nope. Ooh, loot. Get well soon, balloon. Okay. Oh, that's the water cooler. And we have... Is that a crowbar? As always in video games, when you think about crowbar, you think of Half-Life, so... Sounds like sounds from Pac-Man. So waka 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 waka. Here we go, people. I wonder... What this will lead to. Damn. This Hello. is. Can you hear me? Pope. Okay. Jesse. Just a second. Loot. Are you there, Jesse? Emily? He's gone. Dylan isn't here. He might be nearby. Or maybe the hiss got to him. I don't know. Jesse, listen. Dylan's here. With us. He just walked in. He says he is giving himself up. He's been affected by the hiss, but, but he is different than the others. We must isolate him. I'm on my way. We need to get back. Damn. I have to see my brother. Okay. Tell him fade an observation. Ooh. Let's see here. There we go. 9.30 a.m. Breakfast is brought. 
11.54 a.m. gets out of bed, uses toilet, returns to bed. 11.57 asks for television to be turned on. Staff do so. 12 p.m. Lunch is brought. Breakfast is removed. 12.02 eats lunch. 2.38 uses toilet. 4.03 begins talking to self. Recording speech is not possible due to noise from television. 4.07 becomes upset. Throws lunch tray at glass. 4.09 sedated. Crew clean the cell. Television is turned off. 6.12 comes to. Asks for television to be turned on. Staff refuse. Television privileges were refused due to hostile behavior. 616 sleeps question mark. Oh, is this like the television? Yeah. A CRT television built by Benikoff and Sons Electrics. The screen is still functional. The object can levitate itself off the ground to a maximum absurd altitude of blank. When bound, the object allows para-utilitarians para to harness the effect for their own use. For the results tested with prime candidate blank, the object is currently bound by blank. The object was first discovered in a local news story from blank, Kansas. A figure had been seen blank over buildings. The bureau dispatched agents to the town who discovered that a man named Blank had bound himself to the object. Mr. Blank was detained, see case 39HQ656, and the object was brought to the bureau for study. Outline. Control points. Is it the... no? Reach tether through control points into the bureau house. Nexus threshold area codes allows for access. You can fast road construct. Okay, yeah, we know that. Okay. Okay. Sure. Can we go in here? Yes, we can. Okay, let's explore this area before going back and talk with Dylan. Maybe we'll find some answers here. What was actually going on? Not spooky at all. No, no, no. Wait, what? So if I levitate, does objects around me seem to react as well? Cool. There's nothing here. Absolutely nothing. Oh, wait. Here we go. Carla. Ooh. What about her? I just want to get your perspective. What do you think of her? What kind of person is she? That sort of thing. I adored my sister. When I was little, I mean, back in ordinary. And do you go to the morgue? When I first got here, sure. I'd always heard she'd come too. Find me, to take me home. We went everywhere together. Why should this be any different? Casper said she could come too, to the Bureau. If she wanted to. But she never did. Why do you think that is? <laughs> because she didn't care about me. She always wanted to be out on her own, seeing the world. She always said so. Because she got what she wanted. Great. So she wanted to see the world. Did she ever mention any place in particular? Why? We like to ask questions around here. You know that. Any particular cities, towns, landmarks, anything like that? I don't remember. What about family and friends? Were you close with anyone living outside of ordinary? I'm done with this. Tell Casper I want pizza for lunch today. Dylan, wait, we're not... End of session. Fuck, pizza sounds really good. Mm, should I order pizza today? <sighs> but it's kind of far to the... Pizza restaurant, so... Mm, I don't know. I do not know. 
chess C, chess C. Hmm. That was actually one thing that I was a bit worried about. Like he, that it has gone 17 years since we actually got here. Oh, of course. And that Dylan would have like be mad at us for abandoning him. Even though she has been looking for him ever since. But Casper said Casper must be like lying. Is there a floor above this? But I can't get that high, can I? What if I climb this? Can I? Nope, I don't think. Um. Now, before we leave, I am curious. Like, can we? Float in here and have a little look. But there's nothing here. Kind of cool, though, that he actually went to the trouble of... ...doing that little area. Um, okay, abilities. Ooh! Plus an... Ooh, so that's the final one. Yes, I want to be able to levitate for longer. What do we have? And um, yeah, I'm gonna grab this to see what that is. Press C while levitating to slam into the ground and damage nearby enemies. Ooh, cool. And it looks like it's 10% more for all of them. Cool, cool, cool. And what's this? And it's completed. Yeah, collect reward. Collect reward. And this one was his distorted mm, we're not getting a hit kill his snipers in the containment sector and using shatter nope let's just abandon them and we can fast travel back to the boardroom yeah let's do watch this and That'll probably be a good ending for the session. Oh my god, she had to write everything in a made up gibberish code. Fucking Marshall, you CIA spy shit, god. What's up, dude? I don't think I ever told you this, but I was actually on the path to being a ranger once. Did the whole boot camp thing, even got rookie status. Okay. Anyway, not the point. My old ranger squad was a great bunch. There was six plus me. Remus, Hazard, Cho, Guy, Hepton, Stoll, and Thompson. They were supposed to get back from an expedition yesterday. We had beers and wings planned. Problem is, they weren't here when Darling handed out the HRAs. Then they had nothing protecting them from the hiss. You see, they prepped for the worst, but I think that we're already past that. We all wore these pouches around our neck. And I really don't want the hiss to get them. Could you find them for me? Uh, the squad would have come back through maintenance, but they probably spread out from there. I'll keep an eye out for them, Arish. And I won't let them stay his. Okay. I have to go. Me too. You're not the only one who's busy, you know. Gotta see. We have quite a lot of... Like, is this mission briefings? So, okay, we have speak with Emily, collect five, we're missing, right, we can complete this one, investigate the safe room, anchor, we can probably complete this one, fridge duty, so after this we can complete that one, old friends, we can probably deal with that one, wow, there's a lot of side missions in this game, so next session might just be trying to complete all of the side missions, go through all that, let's see... Where's Dylan? Where is Dylan? 
timeline of events. To examine the invasion's timeline of events for possible pattern, pattern, patterns in his behavior. Establishing a timeline is difficult at present because of lack of reliable communication between bureau sectors and staff. Preliminary models indicate ground zero of the invasion is located within the executive sector. Once it becomes possible to interview surviving personnel, pinpointing the exact location should be feasible. Other outstanding questions that a timeline may help answer. How did the HIS get past the internal lockdown? How does HIS resonance advance through space, deli deliberately or uniformly? What is their ultimate goal? The outside world, a cross-dimensional destination. Refer to blank for full report. Just gonna... Speech analysis. Speech analysis. If we understand the HIST to be a force based on vibration and resonance, then perhaps their incantation, which is now the agreed upon term for their vocalizations, is an effort to express that resonance using human vocal cords and speech. Would there be differences in the incant incantation were recited in a different language? The most common word used is want. Interestingly, every usage of the word is attributed to a you. You want to listen. You want this to be true. You must want these ways to drag you away. Are we the you, the his are referring to? Does the his believe humanity, possibly all non his life, wants to join it, to be consumed by it? Is that its goal? The second most used words are through and time. Is this possibly the his stating how they arrived here? Or an indication of its age? There is clear in intention of the words, dismissing the incantation as nonsense, as some of my colleagues recommend, is beyond idiotic. Refer to blank for full report. Okay. So, Emily, where is Dylan? Now it's happening. After all these years, Dylan is here. Oh, but am I too late? How is he? I need to know. He's clearly been affected by the His, but it's different than any other manifestation we've recorded. Maybe what makes you so special is genetic. I mean, he was a prime candidate. Or maybe it's Polaris protecting him, something else affecting the situation. I need to run tests. He seems more in control, more present. I want to see him. My brother? Or is he? Whoa. And Marshall set up an HRA warded cage to contain him. It's on the upper floor up the stairs. Okay, I need to go. Jesse, be careful. I'm not ending until we talk to Dylan. Come on. Speak with Dylan on the upper floor. Uh, we have guards here, so I'm thinking. Whoa, he's like if you're inside the fourth floor, push the things through the surface and you are alarmed through time. The thunders come to store you. Happiness comes, white pearls, but yellow and red in the eye. Through all mirror and inverted is made right. If you're inside the fourth floor, push the things through the surface into the wet. You've always been in here. You've always the patrol. We stand around you while you dream. You can almost hear our words, but you forget. Aww. Shit. That's Dylan. Can you hear me? Oh, come on, my Dylan. I'm here. I found you. Do you know who I am? Oh, you know me. Say it. You are Dylan. Faden's sister. He's talking in the third person. Always a good sign. Do you know who you are? Not Dylan. Trench and Darling made sure of that. I'm P6. P6. But I'm better now. The hiss made me better. 
push the fingers through the surface into the wet. You've always been the new you. You want this Can you stop that? Please. <sighs> Not exactly the reunion I'd hoped for. It feels good to say those words. I want to say them. They sound good. They make me feel good. Don't you want to say them too? No. Fuck off, no. You need to help me get this thing out of his head. If he is still in there, if there is anything left, you have to you. help me. You! Polaris. You came in through the hole in you. We let you in. You've always been here. The only true a copy of a copy of a copy of a copy Stop it! Cornfield! Shit! Shit! He can see you. This is not safe. We found Polaris together with my sister when we were very small, in ordinary, in the desert, through the door opened up by the slide projector. But she didn't help when Trench took me away. She didn't give me any powers. All the powers are my own powers. And she didn't help when they locked me up for years. Till nothing remains. The air cracks and the truth will emerge out of you. You are home. The Bureau brought the slide projector back here with me. And the Bureau did what the Bureau does. They used it. And they found... They opened the door up to the hiss. That's the only thing I can thank them for. There. There it is. We stopped the altered world event in Ordinary when we shut down the slide projector. And now the projector's here. I'm near warm as a tomb. You can't stop humming in a dream. Baby, baby, baby. Just plastic. So safe. Nothing to worry about. <laughs> Funny. I welcomed the hiss. I let it in. To get rid of her. The hiss set me free. Polaris is using you. The Bureau is using you. You are a puppet. You can almost hear our words, but you forget. If we shut this off the slide projector, maybe, maybe that will stop the hiss. Maybe it's not too late for my brother. You must see the truth for yourself, Jesse. Sister. The horrible truth about the Bureau. The hiss is the better option. Go to the prime candidate program in the containment sector. I have the key card to get you there. Salvador wanted me to have it. Wanted? Bullshit. I saw what the hiss did to Salvador. What it turned him into. Okay, Dylan. I'll go. I want to see the truth for myself. I'll go. But only to look for this light projector. You can help me. We can end this. You are a one through time. But you are a one through time. But then this hope distorts you. How can you recall? Okay. So yeah, not quite the reunion we were hoping for, but can I? I don't know what else I'm hoping to find here. Dylan. Can we ask him things? Can we talk? I'd like to tell you about a dream I had last night. Off to a good start. Okay. I'm listening. I was back in Ordinary, before all of this happened. But in the dream, I was alone. It was just me. I was the only child, a girl. My name was Jesse Dylan Faden. But then the Bureau came and caught me, brought me back here. 
locking it up. Have you ever noticed that our names, Jesse, Dylan, they could be girls' names, boys' names, could be anything. Don't you find that weird? I find that weird. Sure. What the hell was that? Is he trying to mess with me? What did that? Maybe Dylan's still in there. Maybe there's a way to reach him. I'd like to talk to my brother, please. Dylan? Dylan would like to tell you about a dream he had just now. This again? I was going to be the new director of this place. That's I true. You get a job here so that we could be together. You were an office assistant. You'd make coffee and deliver the mail. And there was always plenty of work to do. And it stayed that way forever and ever. It was nice, really nice. That's debatable. But here's the strange thing. The dream shifted. And none of it was real anymore. It was a game. We were in a game. And it was a fucking boring game. But you couldn't stop playing. And then it shifted again. Or, or maybe it was another dream already. Or, or maybe I'm just confusing them. But in this other dream... It was more like a musical. This is an ordinary song about an ordinary girl from an ordinary town. It's the ordinary story. She worked an ordinary job in an ordinary office. In something, 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 something. And that's all I can remember of that dream. Maybe that's for the best. Okay. One more time, perhaps? I wonder how much Maybe she can, can talk to him. Got the hiss from him. Can we talk? I just had an interesting dream. Oh, shit. That's fascinating, but let's talk about the hiss for a change, yeah? This dream was about the hiss. Ugh. Best I'm gonna get. In my dream, the hiss had broken free of this prison, this house. I'd set it free. And the president himself was there to welcome us. He was the first one to take the hiss in. Spread the word. At first, Many people thought it was horrifying, that he was horrifying. But also, many people who heard his words wanted to welcome the hiss in. And slowly, more and more of them came around until the whole world was brought together by the hiss. It was wonderful. Okay, thanks for sharing that. For the record, that will never happen. Is that their end goal? Like they want to take over the whole world through people? Maybe I'm just here to punish myself. I wonder how much of this you can actually listen to. I'm glad you asked, sister. And it's all optional. This dream, like all dreams now, felt very real, like reality. And reality now feels like a dream. Maybe it's all a dream. Maybe it's all real. Dream where my brother endlessly tells me about his dreams. I was in a dark place. And there was a dark man there. 
His name was Mr. Door. And he told me that there are many worlds, side by side, on top of each other, some inside of others. In one world, there was a writer who wrote a story about a cop. In another world, the cop was real. Dor said he himself was in all of them at the same time, endlessly shifting between them. I asked him how I could reach these worlds. I wanted to bring the hiss there. But he didn't want to help me. He didn't like the idea. What did he know? I'm not wild about the idea myself. Mm, one more. Come on. Here we go again. I feel like Once more things he says say is actually like Let somehow connected. You tell me about your dream. There are clues yes. within what he says. Yes. In fact, I'm having a dream right now. Oh. That's new. In this dream, I'm standing in the corner watching Jesse and Dylan talk about this very dream. This very dream, he said just now, and repeated it again now. I'm standing there and watching, and that's all I can do. It's as if I'm trapped there. And that's all I have to say about that dream. Okay, okay, Dylan. That's good. Is he still in there? Or is this the hiss playing mind games? I don't know. Oh, so there was an ending to it. Cool. So we actually managed to hear everything. So, yeah. Hitting out of 24. Is that headshot damage? No, that's accuracy. 8%. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is damage one low on health. Don't think I cared about that. Uh, rate of fire for the spin. Damn, 47%. Per geared. Oh, that's another one. Cool. Sweet. And yeah. Reload speed while shielded. Can I shoot through the shield? I wonder. Anyway, I've been playing for quite some time now. And we have... Next time we will be going... Find the Prime Candidate program. Central executive to reunite with Abraham Dillashin, yeah, uh, in the containment sector. So he wants us to go down to the containment again. But we should probably deal with the fung or mold because we're just missing one piece and I think we need to levitate for that. And should be able to deal with that one as well. So, yeah, that's the next one we will go to old growth. And just to give us shorter oh he wants us just to go no that's where we are at so research astral exhibition is that the one beneath everything yeah the quest is in research I'm just thinking that we avoid a, another like loading screen next time. Nope, this isn't it. Should be, be one beneath central research. Strange. Wonder which one that is. Ritual division? Nope. 
active threshold yeah active threshold that sounds about right should be the mold yeah here we go so let's start here next time and have a little look and then bring her the mold of course we can receive one of those things but no not gonna care about it thank you but no so yeah wow what a session today i've been playing for yeah a little bit over six hours that's a good amount but sadly i feel like the game is much longer than i anticipated anticipated so we'll see how it goes um no stream tomorrow even though i have the day off uh yeah i got some things to simply to do during the day and tuesday after work i also have things planned so the only time i have left to stream before the game awards is on wednesday after work so i'll stream a few hours then but sadly probably won't be able to finish the game but you know i still have sunday and monday off as well so maybe i'll stream some more during next weekend but yeah wednesday 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 afternoon around i'd say 5 p.m or something like that probably i'll start another stream of control and we'll see how long we can go but yeah i'm let's see if i can do this uh, yeah no i i'm afraid i'm gonna mess something up but yeah i'm gonna make some food and head over to bell's variety and see how it goes for her got a war playthrough so yeah if you haven't check her out bell bells with a z z z uh, variety on twitch She's a nice girl and she's having fun playing God of War right now. So go over there and give her some love if you haven't a chance. But until next time, ladies and gentlemen, take care and happy gaming. Bye-bye.